All right. Uh, we'll hey, so either way, way, back to the game, which I'm pumped about. That gave me chills, the opening right there. It does. I, I'm, I'm a, a kid in the candy store when, I, when it comes to NFL opening day, Thursday night, the kickoff game, whatever. I, I just it, it, the excitement, as we always talk about, like back in the Northeast, the smell in the air. I can kind of smell fall around the corner. I'm really excited for it. And yeah, like you said, how could you not be pumped for this game? The NFL gets the right matchup. They got the right matchup last year with the Lions coming to town. Right? With all the hype around them, we were a little worried. Like, do the Lions know what they're doing? This is different. This is Ravens trying to get payback, saying they don't want payback. But also, it's the Chiefs going, we know the Ravens want to come here and get payback. The Chiefs played their, their players in the first two preseason games. They know what, what's coming in. They know what they're in store for here. They know the Ravens want to make a make a, 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 a splash here to start the 2024 season, right? So th that's what I'm excited about tonight. And then we know both teams are kind of chippy to begin with anyways. When it's even not the Ravens or the Chiefs, they don't back down from anybody. And we heard, you know, we've heard through this whole process, hey, training camp, it wasn't hard to motivate players because, hey, we're playing the Chiefs, we're playing the Ravens, right? So to see that on the schedule, you know, you know you're, you're going to get your players to work and be ready to go uh, from that sense. And, and that's where I'm excited for the game tonight. And one thing that we won't see tonight, I assume, is only eight carries for running backs for the Baltimore Ravens. I, I mean, I hope not, right? I mean, we, we were kind of discussing that a little yesterday when we were over at the stadium. Uh, that's got to change. You know, yes, we know Lamar Jackson's great and all that. We had times during the year last year, now I think we let them off the hook to a degree because they were winning football games and still really good. But I know on my podcast and sitting here with you in certain mornings, we're still going, man, I wish they would run the ball just a little bit more. It'll be good for them. You know, that's when they're at their best. When people start to creep up and get closer to the line of scrimmage, you have to worry about that. And then Lamar gets on the outside or they get the favorable matchups in the pass game. But that was the story of the AFC Championship game, right? The big bad Ravens versus, oh, the Chiefs and Mahomes, and they throw the ball, and it was the opposite of that. It was the big bad Chiefs, and the Ravens were the ones that tried to throw the ball and do all that. That'll be one of the interesting things of the night because they got three new offensive line starters, right, with the Baltimore Ravens. And then, yes, did they get the memo? that you're at your best when the threat of the run game with Lamar Jackson and your big, powerful offensive line can dominate a football game. And then we don't make it all about Lamar Jackson and Todd Munkin and all passing stats and all that. And that's what I want to see. And they got Derrick Henry, and of course, that's what we all want to see. And I think, I hope they're a more balanced offense this year. Last year, it seemed like they were trying to prove a point, right? I know you used to say that. It seemed like they were trying to prove, like, hey, look at what we paid Lamar. Hey, look, we drafted this receiver. Hey, we signed this free agent. They were going to make the pass game thing work no matter what. Lamar Jackson said he back, wanted to throw for 6,000 yards. That's right. It going came back to bite him in the ass in the biggest game of the year. And, uh, and we know the rest, the rest is history. And now having Derrick Henry. Yeah. Obviously, they will run the ball more. I do wonder, and Miles Simmons and I talked about this yesterday, how much gas is in the tank for a, a running question. back who is 30, fair who's question. had a lot of carries, had a lot of carries at Alabama. That's right. the knock on the Alabama tailbacks. They come into the NFL yeah, more banged up. worn and torn right. than other running backs do. And at what point are you just not the guy anymore? At what point do you just not muster the same strength, right. the same explosion? If he's still got it, that's a problem. Can you imagine Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson oh, I mean, powering that running game? And their prime is scary, right? That, that's for sure. Now, you know, Lamar is he in his prime running ability as we know it or what we've seen throughout his career. No, I don't think he's that. I think we've said, like, we think maybe Justin Fields is a better runner at quarterback. Now. Jaden Daniels other, is probably going to jump Daniels him, gonna too. Jaden Daniels is going to challenge him. Exactly right. But we still know Lamar is extremely dangerous. And I think it goes the same way for Derrick Henry. Do I think he lost a step compared to the prime of his career? Absolutely. You know, I, I do see that, but still effective and big and still has good feet. And then what we saw last year is, okay, maybe not quite as explosive as he used to be, but when he gets going, he gets in the open field, he can still open up and pull away from people. And that is going to be the big thing tonight. Yeah. And yeah, you know, that he's going to be in the shotgun more in the Lamar Jackson offense. So maybe not coming downhill in the I formation quite as much as he was in Tennessee, but uh, I am excited to see them unveil some new tricks and, uh, see the, the, the game unfold in front of us tonight with, with two teams that we know got a lot of pride. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.